Lives Any Friends. I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. Why are you so sad? I don't know. I don't really feel sad. Do you feel sad, viewer? <laughs> well, let's read some books and change that. Awesome. So for you today, we have our June wrap-up. June was a really interesting month for books for me. And as such, we are not going to do our speed reviews <laughs> in this video because it will be far too long. So instead, we're going to give you our stats, which books we gave what stars to, and then we are going to go through and pick up our favorites and kind of recommend the ones that we like the best. If you're looking for a singular review, most of these have reviews that are either up already or will be coming up very shortly. So if you are interested in that, please keep here and on other social media so you can see those reviews. I've gotten a total of seven books, which it's not as much as last time, uh, but then I went back to work, so yeah. Uh, that's three of them are ebooks, and the other four are audiobooks, and it totals up to 1,890 pages. Uh, this month I started Bookopoly. And if you are not. Now we're done. <laughs> it's like a Monopoly game, and every time you read, you roll the die to see what you're going to read. So for me, I had to balance Bookopoly with all these other reviews I had to do. For some reason, Bookopoly just decided to push and push and push me to read more books. So this month I read 22 books. It is twice what I normally read and the most I think I've read since I started doing videos about books. I don't know. I only DNF'd four <laughs> this month. I, I, I'm still floored that I read this many. I read 14 ebooks, seven audiobooks, and one physical book. You know, they say that it's good to read books. So. I have nothing better to do. Anyway, so I have 7,206 mm. pages that I read this month. 13 of those books were for review, and nine of those were for book club. Now, let's talk about my Goodreads stats. Uh, so for the challenge for the year, I chose 104 books. That's two books a week. I have finished my challenge. <laughs> I have finished it in June. So if I can double it and go to 208 books this year, uh, score. Let's talk about the scores we gave the book, shall we? I had two books at five stars. One of them was The Mall by Megan McCafferty, and the other one was No Exit by Taylor Adams. So when we're talking about the four stars, I have quite a few of those. Every Heart a Doorway, and Down Among the Sticks and Bones, that's uh, gonna be Shannon McGuire. Next I have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and then Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. So for me, four stars, I have the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Green Hendricks. Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. Batgirl, Year One. Many people wrote that one. Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire. The Guest by Katherine Grant. Becoming Michelle Obama. The Wife Who Knew Too Much by Michelle Campbell. Half Sister by Sadie Jones. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda. Obsidio. Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I sound like I'm announcing for the Golden Globes or something. In my three stars, I just have Jennifer Strange uh, by Kat Scully. For my three stars, I have Siri Who Am I by Sam Shida, The Dilemma by B.A. Paris, She Died Famous by Kyle Rutkin, Court of Savages by Christy Sloat, The Lies That Bind by Emily Griffin, you Can't Catch Me by Katherine McKenzie. What I Know is also entitled Good Girl in Some Areas by Miranda Smith. Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I have a couple of two stars. One of them is Red Diamond, Iman's Journal, Book One by Emily Flowers. And the other one is How I Survived by, I, I don't speak his language and I have a difficult time saying his name and I can barely write it. So, he wrote it. I have four books that I DNF. The first one was called A Forgotten Murder by Jude Devereaux. I have The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. True Life by Jay Kristoff. And The Green Door by Heather Kitt. Let's talk about some of the books of the, on this list that we like, that really stood out to us, that we really like. <laughs> <laughs> Mischievous Cat. When we're talking about the Wayward Children series, 
it just captivated me. It's a lot of things that I really look for in fantasies. It's dealing with our mythologies and our fairy tales in a very realistic thought process. For me, uh, obviously, The Mall by Megan McCafferty was an amazing book. I keep saying this about it. It's about, like, in the 90s, like, living in a mall, basically, and, and just, I, I just loved the entire culture of it. It was just so familiar to me because the 90s was not when I was in high school and college, so I just, mm -hmm. it was very, very much me. Yeah, and when we finished the uh, Illuminate trilogy, mm -hmm. that... I really liked how that book series was told, like the format of it. It was very interesting to me. You really like series, don't you? I do enjoy series. I like mm -hmm. I like being able to to deal with characters over a long period of things. Right. Yeah. I will also like to talk about the girl from Widow Hills. As far as a thriller goes, and I haven't read any other Megan Miranda books. This is my first one, but I have two others that are waiting on my Kindle to read at some point. I was really impressed by it. I know a couple people were kind of like, nah, I don't know, but I really enjoyed it. And as a thriller, I thought it was very standout and, and very interesting to read. I just didn't. I didn't get the ending, so if, you, if I don't get the ending, then it's a good thing, really. Also, I want to bring up one that he is currently starting right now, but I have finished, and it's called The Southern Book Cub's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Mm -hmm. This is a horror book, but it is not gross horror, totally. There are some parts where you're going to be a little bit eh, but after that, you should be fine. The story itself is very interesting, and I just wanted to bring that up because I don't, I had not really heard about this book that much and then all of a sudden someone was like oh yeah this was a good horror and i needed it for brookopoly so i decided to and i'm very glad that i did read it because it was a good book and so now he's reading it yeah i'm gonna yeah. give it a shot and then maybe after that i'll go for them all i don't know maybe i'll be <laughs> noah makes it maybe he doesn't know so that is our list for June of what we read, and I would like to know what you read for June, so please put that down below so we can also compare notes. Maybe you read the same books. I do not know, but hi. <laughs> I can barely see him. But anyway, thank you so much for watching our video, and until next time, stay tuned. Bye-bye.